Hello, I'm Colleen Pearl the Cool Crone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a pick a card reading all about your spiritual path. Okay, this is the angel pick a card reading. It's good for any time that you watch this reading. It's going to be valuable for you. And this is to determine or to give you advice about your unique spiritual path. So I've changed up the studio a little bit. So we have a little bit different background and I'm changing the way that I'm filming the cards. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know if you like this setup or things that you think I might need to change about it. That would be great. First, we're going to look at the three piles of cards. Our first pile is defined by Lady Isis. Now if Lady Isis attracts you, she's a lot of, there we go, then pick pile number one. The second pile is defined by Ganesha, the road opener. So if you like Ganesha, if, he's, if you're attracted to him, then pick pile number two. The third pile is defined by Baby Dragon. Baby Dragon doesn't have a name. Oh, I should move my nails so I don't obstruct his beautiful little jewel. And that's my kitty. Yeah, you want pile number three? Okay. So Nyx wants pile number three. Okay, so just take a moment dwell on your piles, and when you're ready, we will come back and do the readings. Alrighty, those of you who picked the uh, Isis pile, pile number one, here is your reading. Those of you who picked the Isis statue for your reading, pile number one, here it is. The first card that we have is release. Release means that it is time to move on and you're going to be given re re um, support in order to move on you're going to be given a lot of support in order to move on. But the real message of this card is that you have to move on. It says the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. So this is a part of your spiritual journey as well. It isn't just that something has ended, but that you need to acknowledge the ending and use this as a stepping stone in your spiritual path to move on to something else. And the Archangel that they talk about in this card is Archangel Azrael. So if you've never heard of Archangel Azrael, perhaps it's time for you to do a little research and find out what that angel can do, or just talk to Archangel Azrael. Anytime we speak out to the angels, they are listening and they're there for us. And remember that humans are here on Earth and in the earthly realm, we rule. So when you ask an angel, really they have to come and help you. Another meaning of this card is to retreat, to rest, to go within, and to realize that all the answers are within you. So that's another thing that Archangel Azrael can help you with. If you're a person who is just going all the time, who's working really hard, at everything, then learning how to turn it off, learning how to take two, learning how to pull back and rest and relax is a little bit tricky for some of you. So that's where you would pray to Archangel Azrael or just have a conversation with them and ask them, how do I turn it off? How do I recuperate? What should I do? To recharge my batteries and also how can I how can I get to um, a place where I understand what is going on 
Archangel Azrael will definitely help you with this. The next card that we have is the King of Air. Now the King of Air, brilliant, impartial, professional, diplomatic. This King of Air indicates that you will be getting advice uh, from a professional who is an excellent speaker, who's known for their objectivity and diplomacy. And at the bottom of this card, it says, speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, balance mental and emotional considerations. So you're gonna be working with someone who is, giving, who is guiding you, mentoring you, giving you advice, and it's important for you to pay attention to their directions. The next card that you have here is Unity. And I just wanna say for the people who picked the um, Isis statue, that this is a moment in time where you are switching on something different in your spiritual life. You're moving on to a different phase. This is quite profound, actually. You've got two major arcana here, release and unity, and both of them are talking about going within and seeking answers, and your oracle cards are too. So the unity card is Archangel Sandalphon, traditional viewpoint or methods, spiritual organizations, seek, seek out mentors and like-minded friends. So we have two cards that are saying, seek out people who know more than you do and talk to them. And this is, I think, a big part of your spiritual advancement is to get with other people and to talk about what you believe, what they believe, and where you are. Talk about your path. Talk about where you are on your path and allow them to help you move forward on your path. I think that's really, really important. And the next card that we have here is Ace of Fire. And fire signs, or fire in general, is creativity and inspiration and new exciting things, especially the aces are new exciting things. It says an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, change your life now. And your life is going to be changing. There is a lot in your life that's going to be changing, mostly on the spiritual path, because that's what you're really seeking out, is its spiritual advancement. And that's what's going to be coming to you, mostly. There may be a new job, but I think the more important uh, element of this reading is the fact that you are advancing spiritually. And my cat thinks so too because she's chiming in. Hi, Nix. What? Yes, you're very pretty. Okay. The next card that we have is an oracle card from the Isis Oracle. I just want to show you the beautiful backs of these cards. They're so beautiful. And the messages for these cards are usually very, very deep. This one is a little simpler. It's soul retrieval, deep soul healing with the goddess. And let's look at that one. And this card talks also about going within. The goddess is re getting ready to give you deep soul healing and allow you to reclaim lost pieces of yourself or of your soul, which means that if you've never heard of this before, soul retrieval is um, a technique where you can reclaim pieces of your soul that have fragmented or fallen off or, being, or been violently kind of shaken off or removed from your soul um, in a traumatic event. And most of us have, no, have experienced when we have a traumatic ev event, things like memory loss. This is the kinds of things that indicate that you may need soul retrieval. And soul retrieval will help you regain memory of the event, which will allow you to talk through it with a professional, as was indicated here by the King of Air card. And usually when you can do talk therapy about an emotional event, you can heal from it. This is saying that with the goddess help, you can do soul retrieval, you can reclaim the lost pieces of your soul, so that you can move on. And that's the first card is release. You need to move on from things that have damaged you in the past. And the final card that we have here is the Hermit. 
retreat and recharge and this is actually from the angels and ancestors oracle cards and this hermit card is not the hermit from the tarot although the message is very very similar so for this guy he's saying rest and recuperate the answers are within you retreat from whatever you're doing so again stop with the busyness and figure out how to slow down and just be how do you slow down and just allow yourself to be so that your higher self and your subconscious can allow answers to come to the surface so that you can understand your life and yourself and what it is that you're supposed to be doing in life. So that's the hermit. So that is the uh, reading for those of you who picked Isis. And this reading again is about your unique spiritual journey. And I think for all of you who picked this pile, you're about ready to experience kind of an explosion of new spiritual thought, a spiritual activity, but only after you release, only after you let go of the past. And that may mean that you need to do that soul retrieval in order to release the past. All right, that's really a wonderful reading. Now we're going to go on to pile two. Okay, this is the reading for the people who uh, gravitated to Ganesha, Hindu God, remover of obstacles, and let's get going with the cards. So the first card is the Queen of Pentacles, and she represents a no-nonsense woman, somebody who can present things in a very down-to-earth manner. She doesn't put on airs. She's not an aristocrat, at least not in this deck. And she's, but she is concerned with helping women, with nurturing women, with helping women, with helping women to move forward. And in this deck, that's what all the queens are about. But they have their various areas. The Queen of Pentacles pertains to food and the land and the body and health in general. So she is saying, support yourself, preserve yourself, make sure that you eat well, make sure that you take care of your body, stay healthy, and I will help to protect you as well. In the card. Yeah, if you look over her shoulder, that's where she has an angel on her shoulder helping her to get this message out. Now the second card is the Queen of Swords, and that's um, also a woman for you know, supporting a women, women, supporting the nurturing role of women in society. But her focus is on writing and communication. And she wants you to think about helping others and allowing, yes, Kitty, she does. She wants them to help others. Uh, helping others to learn the truth and to understand, to be insightful. And she herself is very direct and honest in communication. And you can see her angel just in front of her directing her at writing. In this deck, what the author has done, or the illustrator, is they've picked um, women from history who were painted. So these are paintings of them that they've pulled up. Very interesting. If you're interested in the deck, this is the um, Influence of Angels deck. By, who's it by? Influence of Angels by Jody Boginski, Barbesi, and Karen Boginski. And all the stuff about all the decks that I've used for all of the readings will be in the description below. But very interesting deck. It's a really, really different take on the Rider Waite model. The next card we have is the Knight of Wands. And the Knights in this deck are very confident. They show that you are confident in this endeavor that you have strength and endurance, and you are getting supportive guidance. Um, this also shows that you are pursuing a new goal, a new adventure, and you're staking a claim, and you have a lot of determination about that. But the next few cards say that maybe this is not quite the time for that. 
The Seven of Swords is showing challenges to your responsibility, challenges to your own personal development, and shows that you're behaving in an irresponsible manner and perhaps making excuses, even abandoning your goals and rationalizing what you're doing, uh, which is trying to get away with something. So there's something not so positive going on right here and you need to stop and think about it. And the next card is kind of a result of this. And it's saying that there's an overabundance of information. There's uh, an overabundance of ideas, but this is the end of something. This is the end of a situation saying it's definitely over and acknowledging this ending is really important to you. The whole situation reeks of self-sabotage. It could bring bad news and so you need to be honest with yourself and if you are the person who is trying to just sweep it under the rug or take something that isn't yours or take credit for something that you didn't do, then you need to stop in that pursuit because the confidence that you're feeling may be based on erroneous information. Maybe you didn't create whatever it is that they're, that you're so confident about. Maybe it isn't actually yours. So. The next oracle card really helps illuminate this. It's the card for patience, and this is indicating an angel called patience. It says, now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action. In the guidebook, what it says is this is not a time to begin something. So even though you have the Knight of Wands showing a lot of patience or a lot of determination and confidence, this is not the time to be starting something new. What it is time for is to acquire new information, to study, to learn, to really apply yourself to your studies, and soon you will be called to action and, put, and be, be allowed or be uh, in, you know, compelled to put your studies into practice, but you won't know what that is while you're going through the period of learning and studying. So you just have to have faith that this is what you're being called to do, that this is the right thing for you to be doing right now. And as you go through your studies, just complete that course of study and then the universe or the angels or your guides will put into your path what it is that you're supposed to be doing with all of that knowledge. And the final card is protection. And I pulled this from the Gita Oracle deck. It's not really an Oracle deck, it's an inspirational deck. And the guy laying in front of Nishringa is not dead, but he is laying down in, in uh, devotion. He is laying down on the ground because he is lower than Nishringa as a god, and he is showing his devotion to Nishringa as are the gopis, or maybe this is Radha and Krishna standing on, yeah, it's Radha and Krishna standing on either side of him. So let me read what's on the back. Those who worship me with devotion, meditating on my transcendental form, for them I carry what they lack and preserve what they have, both materially and spiritually. So this is a message about your material life and your spiritual life, that you are being protected. And perhaps even though you made some foolish mistakes here, some foolish assumptions, you're going to be forgiven and put back on a different path. So even though you've done this thing, taken things that weren't yours, we can be done with all that. There can be an end to that. And there will be, whether or not you acknowledge it, there will be an end to it. It depends on your thinking and feeling about whether the news when this comes to an end is difficult or terrible for you or whether it's enlightening for you. But either way, you can take the more enlightened path. You may struggle with the healing from that and the acknowledgement of that and the shame and guilt from that. You may struggle with that to come around to it, but the way to get through it is to exhibit patience and to study hard to use the guidance of the angels to figure out what to study, apply yourself to the study, and study the course completely. Go through the whole course and finish it, and then the angels will guide you towards what you're supposed to be doing to use your studies and put into action what it is that you've learned. And then that's a piece of your spiritual journey. 
is doing that. And all the while that you are doing that, you will be protected. Now, I would also advise that you do a little research, uh, research excuse me, on the Shringa. Okay, so for those of you who chose Ganesh, this is your reading, a little, little dicey there. You have some work to do. And now we're going on to pile three. All right, so now we have pile number three. This is for the people who chose the little baby dragon. So cute. Look at the sides. Very cute baby dragon. You got a good view of my ridiculous thumb that refuses to heal. Uh, all right, so let's start out here. We have, first we have Six of Ariel. And Six of Ariel says, material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. And as you can see on the picture, the angel tied to her wings has two baskets of fruit. So she's balanced in those two things, but she's giving those things away. That's what she's there for is generosity. And so this means that you will receive great blessings in giving and receiving. So if somebody is offering to give you something, accept it with humbleness and gratitude. If you're in a position to give to others, give with compassion. Give, you don't have to give money. You can give of your own um, energy, just wishing them well, being, a, being a, a shoulder to cry on, being a supportive person, offering a hug, or you can give service. You don't have to give money. Um, but this card can also mean that you might be up for a promotion or a bonus or to receive gifts. Now, I do think that you're gonna receive a whole lot of stuff. This is a very positive reading for you. So the second card is the Eight of Ariel. And it says, take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. see in his hair there's little twinklings of and the woman behind him is actually an angel so this card is saying that you've been doing some fantastic work you've already been studying or apprenticing or just working very hard at something and you should be very proud of what you're doing you're about to receive a reward of some kind so this is not just someone giving you just a generous handout or a gift, which is indicated by this card, which may also be coming, or it sounds like because you're going to be doing so well, you may be giving out to other people. But back to the Eight of Ariel, um, you could be getting more training, you could be going for more study, and you could be motivated right now to be very, very successful you will be getting some kind of an accolade or an acknowledgement for the hard work you've already done and that could push you into doing even more work or study in that area and you will continue to be rewarded by the universe because this is what you're meant to do um, this is a great card for students and artists alike to get but for you this is giving you an indication that as you're getting messages from the universe that this is positive and that you should be doing this, you're going to keep doing it. And this is part of your spiritual path, is just listening to the messages from your angels and just the messages from the universe saying, yeah, good job, let's give you more of that. The next card is the Knight of Michael, and it says strong, committed, intellectual, diligent, time to move quickly, choose logic over emotion sudden changes. So let's get that card up there. Okay. It just says that, you know, it's time to really get moving. You can develop, you need to develop a plan and then you need to move forward with that plan. There's a lot of activity all at once right now, but listen to your mind. Don't allow your heart to muddy the waters. If you really want to get what you want, you have to go with your plan, your logical plan, and to move quickly but not impulsively. Uh, someone 
This indicates somebody who can multitask, has a brilliant mind, um, and it's strong, focused, it's committed. There's a, they're a champion of a cause. But like it said, there could be sudden changes, not necessarily that any of those things would be taken away, but that your situation may change. And that's because you need, to, that's another reason why you need to take action swiftly before it changes. It does indicate a lack of uh, diplomacy. However, I think that's because you're just very, very cut and dried, unemotional with this card. And then we have the three of Raphael. It says reasons to celebrate, a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. So this can also be that your hopes have been realized and you notice there's a big ship in the background. So literally your ship has come in. It's an acknowledgement of everyone around you. The public recognizes you. You should also recognize all the people who have supported you and made it possible for you to get to where you are. But if you've been working really, really hard, then you should take the time out to celebrate. This is really saying it's time for the celebration. Don't just keep working really, really hard. Take time for the celebration. Uh, enjoy your social um, outings. If you don't have a lot of friends, join a group or get together with a group and enjoy making friends. This is a very good time for making friends. Also, this is a very prosperous time. It also is a time where you may hear of a wedding or the announcement of a, of a pregnancy. Somebody's going to have a baby. If so, then that's going to be a successful pregnancy. Definitely that baby will come to term. Um, it's your health is improved. It's just really a good, happy up card. So it's a really good time in your life. And then we come to the moon. Now the moon says that this is a time to review your plans, the opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, face your fears and grow stronger. And this card is ruled by Archangel Haniel. There go. The moon says this, this is the time to review your plans, to trust your intuition. And Archangel Haniel can help you develop your psychic abilities and gifts. Also, any questions that you have about your dreams or your subconscious, Archangel Haniel can help you with that as well. So trust in Archangel Haniel, and this is another part of your psychic and spiritual development is the opportunity now to listen to your inner voice and get guidance from Archangel Haniel about how to interpret that inner voice, especially coming up from your subconscious or your dreams, but also just developing your gifts in general. And the next card is from the Archangel cards by Doreen Virtue. It says, brilliant idea. Archangel Uriel, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action and bring your idea to, to bring your idea to fruition. So this is another, in, uh, you know, just a positive affirmation that what you're doing, maybe it's what you're studying or it's maybe it's just already something, some situation you've already found yourself in that you should for, forge forward with that plan. So take action, take action. Definitely take action and don't wait. Now the last card, the last Oracle card is just really, really interesting. It comes up as the lake. This is from the Stacy DeMarco Elemental Oracle. It's a woman sitting in the water, but her hair, the way her hair is curved around, it almost looks like a face. So that is a woman in the water and I'm just going to read what the guidebook says because it's so interesting. Fertility, oh no, that's the wrong one here. Depth. Do not take the shallow alternative. Deep dive. Do the research. Now this refers back to this. Do the research. Do not cut corners. You may not be seeing the whole picture so take your time with the decision. Take your time with the decision, yes, but remember that both of these cards are saying take action on your original plan. So if you're researching new stuff, yes, do the deep dive and take your time. But for the stuff that you've already got planned out, you've already been studying and doing stuff up till now. So for that stuff, make your plan and go for that. Lakes are natural self-contained bodies of water not connected with an ocean. They have their own ecosystems and often contain their own endemic species. 
Most have at least one stream or river directing the flow outwards. The different classifications of lakes include glacial, tectonic, fluvial, and shoreline, and those formed by meteorites hitting the earth. As they are often freshwater, historically lakes have attracted human occupancy as they are a water source. On Earth, most lakes were formed in the higher northern latitudes, although there are no notable exceptions in Africa. Spiritually, lakes have been places of magic and power. Lake Wanaka in New Zealand is said to breathe in and out with the giant that lies underneath it. Lake Baikal in Siberia, sometimes referred to as the Sacred Sea, is the largest source of fresh water in the world containing over 20% of the world's unfrozen fresh water. Over 630 kilometers long, Baikal is very deep and its waters are very clear and it contains over 3,000 unique species. One common shamanic practice is the offering of a small amount of vodka in certain sacred spots. It is also believed that something should be thrown into any fire you light as an offering to the spirits. It is said that if you bathe here or in other lakes, such as the Lagerfeld in Iceland, you will receive healing energies from the pure and ancient waters. So along with the moon, you're getting a big, big push into your spirituality and understanding your ability to flow in this world. Even the three of Raphael here, that's the three of cups and you have a ship there on the water and the mermaids. So you're getting a lot of water flow, very distinct from the studying, which is eight of Ariel, which is swords, which is er, not, well, this is swords, Knight of Michael is swords. So Ariel, I think is wands, inspiration, creativity, um, bringing, it, uh, bringing everything to, together into a plan. So you've got some action here, you've got some study here, you've got some celebration and some intuition. So this all taken together is giving you your unique spiritual path and the way that you should move forward. And I do think that if you listen to Archangel Uriel and Archangel Haniel, uh, you can combine their energies and their focus so that you can find your unique spiritual path in the future. So that's what I have to say about your unique spiritual path. For those of you who picked pile number three, the baby dragon, I wish you all the best and I will see you next time.